A very warm welcome to you all from SGT University. I am Manpreet Singh Bajwa from Faculty of Engineering and Technology and today we will be learning about greedy algorithms. Greedy algorithm is those algorithm which focuses on optimal solution at every step of problem and that solution after last step making optimal solution for complete problem. So in case of weight graph finding minimum spanning tree is an application of greedy algorithm. So today we will be covering fractional knapsack problem. What exactly is fractional knapsack problem? Fractional knapsack problem is when we bifurcate these words is a problem in which we have to fill a nap sack with fractions. So we will have different different items. You will have different different weights and profits related to those items. And we have to fill the bag with the maximum profit keeping in mind that weight need to be minimized. So maximizing the profit, minimizing the weight. How we do this? We find density for every item and select elements according to density. As we used greedy approach, we select greedy choice property and optimal substructure. In this video, a thief tries to steal items and keep it in a bag. So let's assume he has a bag which can carry up to 16 kgs and there are 6 items which we need to select. So the problem is finding optimal solution for 6 items, 16 kgs, w1, w2, w3, w4, w5, w6, 5, 1, 10, 3, 6, 3, v1, v2, v3, v4, v5, v6, 8, 3, 2, 5, 6, 1. Our aim is to minimize the weight and maximize the profit. So we simply draw tables of items, weight and respective values. So we simply draw tables of items, weight and respective values. Now we compute density, value upon weight. So we calculate I1 with 1.6, I2 with 3, I3 with 0.2, I4 with 1.67, I5 with 1 and I6 with 0.33. So which item we need to select for that, we sort items and start inserting values accordingly. We will select all item that has maximum density and we will check conditions of maximum weight. So we insert 2 with weight, we can add it with the maximum in bag and carry 16. And we will check condition of maximum weight. So we insert item 2 with weight and we can add it as maximum a bag can carry 16 profit is 3. Next we add item 4, total weight is 4 that is 3 plus 1 and lesser than maximum weight and add it. Total benefit is 8. Next item is 5. So we add total weight becomes 10, 10 that is 6 plus 4, lesser than maximum weight and add it. So benefit is 14. Next is item 1, total weight is 15 that is 10 plus 5, lesser than maximum weight added. So benefit is 22. Next item is I6, total weight will become 18, which is greater than maximum weight. So obviously we have to ignore this item, but we can take fractional part of this to maximize the profit. So we will fill fractional part that is weight of I with divided into 3 part that is 0.33 value. So maximum profit will be 22.33 in total. And we need to remember the time complexity will be big of log n. There is one more example to this question that is Huffman code. What exactly is Huffman code? Now if we have a sequence of characters and they are repeated numbers and they are repeated frequently. So what we will do is we will try to minimize the code total space. How we will do it? Let's take an example. I have a symbol that is the code is my name is Manpreet Singh. So I will calculate how many times A is repeated, P is repeated, C is repeated, D is repeated and E is repeated. When we will calculate all these, so I'll get to know that A is repeated 10 times. So the code given to A should be lesser, whereas C is repeated only once. So code given to C can be of greater length. So when 
we have to minimize the space keeping in mind that we can have variable codes given to any alphabet we use Huffman code in coding of symbol which have variable length we optimize on the principle of fractional knapsack so we take an example by a code in which ABCD is present in 12, 50, 25, 13 percent respectively as per normal encoding we get 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 encoding and two bits each in Huffman coding 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 with 3, 1, 2, 3 bits encoding nomenclature with total value of 2 bits per symbol for original and 1.75 bit symbol for Huffman coding representing same with binary trees then now see the value binary value for a is 110 b is 10 c is 0 d is triple one now we have to make this tree we initialize each symbol with leaf and weight equals to frequency and select two nodes with lowest frequency and make it a node and again keep merging those leaves and nodes to make it all merge into one tree like this ABCD is 1, 2, 8, 7, 9 and we take value B with frequency 1 and 2 and merge. New nodes with value 3. Now next lowest frequencies are 3 and 6. Merging makes 9. Next lowest are 7 and 8. Merging makes 15. Best merging left out are two frequencies R10 and 9 making a binary tree with codes A, B, C, D, E and makes 24. So in Huffman encoding A is 111, B is 110, C is 01, D is 00, E is 10. So algorithm will be placing symbol in leaves, select two nodes left, right and lowest frequency in tree. Merging these two nodes, creating new frequency as sum of frequency and frequency and repeat until all needs are merged into one tree. Practical implementation of 3D approaches, PRIMS, Traveling Salesman Problem, Kuskals, Registrars and Knapsack. So algorithm will be placing symbol in leaves, select two nodes left, right and lowest frequency in tree. Merging these two nodes, creating new frequency as sum of frequency and frequency and repeat until all needs are merged into one tree. And we need to remember So today we covered greedy algorithm with fractional knapsack and Huffman code. In our next lecture we will be covering dynamic programming with the help of longest common subsequence and matrix chain multiplication. Till then keep learning, keep growing, see you next time.